Welcome back to our long form videos. It's been a while I didn't do long form videos because I was moving. I'm in the new studio. I'm pretty excited as well. There are a couple changes are going to happen, but that's not the topic of this video. I have right now Ender 3 S1 Max 3D printer in this box and I'm going to unbox it and show you guys what's inside in here. So I have uh, extra nozzles and magnetic plate that is added to this box later on. So these are the two things that I'm going to put aside first and let's open it up and see what's inside. Also see I'm using microphone. It should be a better voice right now. Cool. You want to see what's inside? Let's do that. The first thing we see in the box is Ender 3 S1 Plus 3D printer quick start guide and inside there are all the tools that we need plus screws and everything so let's take a quick look on it after sale service card quick start guide with everything in it I also have this from material guide that shows the traction and the print settings another separate nozzle uh, SD card and a USB stick Screws, connection points, uh, probably the limit switch, connection um, tools right here, and of course our forever friend. Yeah, our forever friend, a flash cutter. I don't know how many of those I have. Next, we have the clog opening needle right in here. I don't want to stab myself, right? Let's put it back. A spatula. Some filament over here and power cord. Next up in here, we have the upgraded uh, controller panel uh, with a touch screen. There's no button in here. This is a touch screen. And this is going to get connected to our Ender 3 S1 Plus. Here we have the beautiful extruder of the Ender 3 S1 Plus. As you guys can see, it comes with BL Touch and this is a direct drive. Uh, it feels better compared to the other extruder that I have, but we will see how it's going to perform. Um, yeah, and the controller of the extruder is also located in here. And here we have a holder for the filament unit and filament detection sensor hanging from the side of it and more pieces hanging system okay this is going to connect to uh, this is going to help us to connect the screen to the printer another piece that we are going to discover and these three out of the way here we have the cylindrical piece to call the filament and there we go the gantry here we have the gantry of ender 3 s1 it's, it's covered um, less looking like an aluminum extrusion, but it is an aluminum extrusion at the end of the day. And here we have dual Z-axis. Uh, you can see the dual Z-axis motors left and right. Uh, motors are connected with this belt on the top to synchronize them. For me, it might not be necessary, but it is good to have. And the connection pieces, solid, ready. I like the design better than the Ender 3 version 2. This is S1 Plus. Here I have the red colored aluminum knobs. They are probably detached during the shipping, but they're pretty good. Nice to touch. I love it. And red. Like it's cool. Black and red. I like the combination. Let's start to take out the base. Here we have the base. Uh, when we look at the base, this is detached already because of the uh, knobs came out uh, and uh, it is literally detached, but it's okay. We are going to put it back very easily. This is fully closed design and we are going to see the noise level. Definitely, I'm going to check that one out. My Ender 3, well, my Ender 3 version 2 was great in terms of noise, like literally no noise or something like that. I assume this one to be like that as well. Um, one interesting thing that I see for the first time with the Creality printers is the 
closing points, like uh, they have this rubber caps to close the socket. Uh, I'm impressed. This is a higher uh, attention to the detail. I like it. And here we have uh, probably the connection to the Z motor section. I will need to tighten this one a little bit more. Let's look at to the side. Aluminum profiles, you can see them. On a button, everything's gonna connect in there. I have uh, these springs in the orange color. I like the orange colored springs as well. Bottom of it is pretty much closed too. Here, we have the SD card connection and I see this is a USB-C port. Yeah, it is updated. I quickly connected the bed back to the plate that carries it, right? Here we have the power uh, selection part. It is the first time I see it, it's uh, covered with a transparent thing in there. Uh, I just want to make sure everything works on my case, but uh, we will check that one out later. Oh, here is the removal section. That's pretty cool, too. I think it's on 230 right now, but I will check it out later on. Another thing that grabbed my attention is the quality in this cable. Um, I haven't seen such kind of big connecting cable that goes to the bed. Um, looks good though. I'm curious if there's a change in the voltage going into the bed or not. Here we have the cable that will go to the extruder. Everything is basically, everything is basically gathered in one socket. This is the uh, one of the beds that I don't like in general because of the texture in here. That's why I have this replacement bed that I will be using for this 3D printer. One last thing before I end the unboxing video is this shelf. Um, Ender 3, my Ender 3 version to head the shelf to S1 Plus is also having this shelf. Big enough to put my tools. I like it. Cool. If you are still with me, thank you for watching up until this moment. This is the end of the unboxing Ender 3 S1 Plus 3D printer video. All the links are down below to find this 3D printer and if you want to buy one already. In the next video, I'm going to show you step by step how to assemble this 3D printer, putting gantry and everything together. And we will start our very first 3D print with this machine. Uh, also, we are about to hit 100,000 followers on YouTube. I'm pretty excited. We are 80,000. If the rise continues like that, soon we will be having our silver button, frame, play button. I'm pretty, pretty excited. Uh, but anyways, uh, see you guys in the next video where I will be assembling this 3D printer. 3D printing doctor out.